So now we can talk about uh, the basic trig ratios, uh, sine, cos, and tan. Um, sine, cos, and tan are the ways we solve for sides using angles, not just the side lengths. So again, we'll have our right angle triangle here. That's our basic simple case. And uh, let's say that we know this angle is 40 degrees, um, this angle here. And we know that this side is 6 and this side is 10. What we can do to solve for the final side without using Pythagorean theorem, in fact, let's not even say that, let's just say we have the 10. Um, we use this thing called, um, well, the way I remember it is to open a submarine or helicopter, carry a hammer. And those are all the ratios of sine, cos, and tan. So we can write these out. So tan theta, or just tan of the angle, is equal to opposite over adjacent. And these are the side, the sides that will be there. Um, sine theta is equal to opposite over hypotenuse. And of course, cos theta equals adjacent over hypotenuse. Adjacent over hypotenuse. So these are the ratios that we're going to be using to solve for this triangle um, in the future. We've got this as a right angle, by the way. Um, so let's say we want to find the opposite side here, x, and this side, y. We need to use these ratios in order to do that. So I will solve for this by saying, let's solve for y first. So let me erase a couple things here. And all I'm going to leave is 2 open a submarine or helicopter, carry a hammer. So, I'm going to have to use the hypotenuse and the adjacent side to the angle. The adjacent side is the one closest to the angle, the opposite side is away from the angle, and the hypotenuse is always the longest side of the triangle. So, we need to use adjacent and hypotenuse, that is cos. So, we know that cos theta equals adjacent over hypotenuse, and we can solve for more of these things. So we know that cos of 40 degrees equals adjacent, which is y, over hypotenuse, which is 10. So now we need to bring our 10 up to the other side here to solve for y. So it's 10 cos 40 equals y. And uh, we just plug this in on our calculator. That's the only way we can do it. So uh, you just plug in your calculator and find that answer. Um, I need to get a calculator, obviously. So now that I have my calculator, I can go ahead and punch this in. So I just do 10 uh, times cos, and you just type the angle is 40, press enter, and uh, make sure your calculator is in degrees, not radians, by the way, because we're talking all in degrees right now. So this is 7.66 is the number that comes out. So y equals 7.66. So now we, can, we know this side, 7.66. We can then calculate what x is, based on another ratio. So let's use um, the opposite and the hypotenuse, since we know this is correct for sure, even though this is as well. Opposite and hypotenuse is going to be our sine ratio. So let me just erase this. Our sine ratio is going to say that sine theta, or sine of the angle, equals the opposite, which is x, over hypotenuse, which is 10. Rearrange to get 10 sine of the angle equals x, and we can just plug in our numbers. So 10 sine of 40 equals x. So again, on my calculator, I'm just going to type uh, 10 times sine 40 equals 6.427. So 6.43. x equals 6.43. And we've now solved for all the sides of the triangle. The last thing we can do to solve this triangle to get all the information is to total up the area, total up the angles inside the triangle. We're going to do that two ways. One thing is, every triangle on, inside it has 180 degrees to spare. So basically, we know this is 90 degrees, because it's a right angle. So we can say, and this angle we'll call, uh, you know, whatever, psi. All right, I better do, I better do uh, theta here. So if we do 180, Minus, we have, well, 180 equals basically all the ones together. So theta plus 40 plus 90 degrees. So if I bring these over, I'm going to have 180 
minus 40 minus 90 equals theta. So 180 minus 90 is 90 left, minus 40 is 50. So theta equals 50 degrees. We can solve for it that way. That's one possible answer. The second answer is to use our trig ratios. Um, so let's say this is our angle we want to have now. And we want to figure it out from the adjacent, or sorry, the opposite and hypotenuse. So sine theta is equal to the opposite, which is 7.66 over the hypotenuse, which is 10. So all we have to do is divide these two numbers. So 7.66 divided by 10, it's going to be 0 0.766. So sine theta equals 0 0.766. And to get the opposite of this, we need to do inverse sine of both sides. So it's sine with a minus 1 like that, and it's also sine of this. So I'd have to do, I'd have to erase this and put sine inverse of 0 0.766. So when I took that on my calculator, sine inverse and sine cancel each other to become theta equals sine inverse of 0 0.766. So I just go... On my calculator, it's shift sine 0 0.766, which gives me 49.99 degrees. 0.996. So theta is basically equal to 50 degrees, which is what we found out from before. So this proves that the trig angles and ratios actually work. These are the basic trig angles and ratios, and of course, each of them have an inverse to them. So we can find the inverse by saying, well, that's basically, the inverse is just the opposite function that you use to cancel out the regular function. Hopefully you've learned something from that. Please visit us at bettermath.ca. Thanks a lot.